Welcome to Netlink Daily, a news show all about tech, mostly. Working across multiple computers is a messy process. It's way too easy to click and type on the wrong system, which can cause unnecessary stress and frustration. But we found a solution. Synergy. Synergy is a software application that lets you control multiple devices with just one mouse and keyboard. You can drag and drop files, share your clipboard, and more across Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Find out more and get 50% off using the link in the description. Does anybody remember Project Tango, Google's augmented reality platform? Well, Google has announced a new AR platform called AR Core. Just to clarify, AR Core doesn't need special cameras or sensors to work like Tango did. AR Core doesn't need anything except your cell phone. AR Core delivers three features for augmented reality, motion tracking, environmental understanding, and light estimation. In Google's AR Core intro video, you can interact with AR objects by resizing them and then placing them on tables. You can also have the AR object, like the cowardly lion, react to the lights being turned off. AR Core works with Java slash OpenGL, Unreal, and Unity engines. Google says that AR Core can be used by devs on the Pixel or Galaxy S8 as long as it's running NuGet 7.0 and up. Google hopes to have AR Core run on more Android devices soon. Intel has announced some new workstation processors aimed at professional applications called the Xeon W and Perly workstation processors. These new chips were created to help satisfy the needs of financial trading, CAD, rendering, and even AI analytics and 3D VR content creations, just to name a few. The Xeon W series are said to feature turbo boosts of up to 4.5 gigahertz and up to 18 hyper-threaded cores. Meanwhile, the expert Perly workstation CPUs feature 4.2 gigahertz turbo boosts and up to 50 56 cords and 112 threads on a single platform. Some reports are speculating that the 18 core Xeon W is headed to the next iMac Pro, but we probably won't find that out till sometime in September when Apple does their thing. Dell is stepping into the mixed reality headset game with their own headset called the Dell Visor. This is Dell's first headset for Microsoft Windows mixed reality platform. Sources say that the headset itself does have cameras on the front that could allow for both AR and VR experiences. The headset has a resolution per eye of 1440 by 1440 with a 90 hertz refresh rate. The headset is apparently coated with an anti-stain coating so that it can be kept clean. The Dell Visor also has optional controllers that offer 6 degrees of freedom of movement movement, thumbsticks, trackpads, and buttons and triggers. The Dell Visor will be available this October for $349.99 or bundled with the controllers for $449.99. It's time for... Beep, 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 beep. The Amazon Echo devices have been updated to be able to do multi-room audio with the help of the Alexa app. Nintendo will be shutting down its Miiverse on November 8th, 2017. Elon Musk has confirmed that the tunnels made by his boring company does indeed fit cars. Looks like keyboard and mouse support has come to a few Xbox insiders as they report being able to use keyboard and mouse in the Minecraft beta. And speaking of keyboards and mice, Cooler Master has a new budget-friendly keyboard and mouse combo called the Master Set MS120, and the keyboard apparently offers offers a mix between membrane and mechanical switches called memchanical switches. Hmm, that's very interesting. Memchanical. Sources for all today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked down below. In case you didn't know. That's it. No more cookies for you. Thanks, Andrew, for your Yo Dog submission. If you would like to have us say something random, hit us up on Twitter with hashtag and Zach Yo Dog. Yo Dog, the Destiny 2 open beta starts today and to just go and check it out. And if you actually like the game, you can get a free copy of Destiny 2 with the purchase of any select GeForce GTX 10 series GPUs, laptops, or systems. There are a limited quantity, so check out the beta and get yourself a new video card slash system slash laptop and get the game for free. Maybe we'll see you on the battlefield, Guardian. All right, that's it for Nailing Day. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for a few minutes, and check us out on Twitter. 
But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment down below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now it's time to say goodbye because I'll be on vacation starting tomorrow. So see ya when I see ya on a Tuesday. Bye, Jay. Bye.